start slurring that mayor. I've got three things I'll try to be quick. First, it was very difficult putting all that together. I think you did a good job of the presentation. Uh, following up, actually, on Mr. Weaver's question, we talked to discuss land values. Going through this quickly, there seemed to be roughly 12 to 15 economic exactions. And I've got no idea what the scale of scope of them is. It seems like the capital costs could be increased by either tens or hundreds of millions of dollars. And operating costs either by millions or tens of millions of dollars. Before we go forward, I would think we should have some idea of what these costs are. Yeah, and I know we can't be too specific, but I don't even know what the ballpark is. So that's one. Second, in the county, there's also been a lot of discussion, and I have no idea if it has any basis in fact, but that Fortress, the company behind FEC, is supposedly also owner of a company called 10 Gaming, which is trying to promote casino gambling in Miami. And I've heard that their whole business plan is based on getting casino gambling in Miami, and I think that that is a material fact I'd like to know. The third thing is, you mentioned, well, I think, laundry list, and this seems to be just too much of everything. I'm wondering if we shouldn't have priorities, and at least based on the Indian River County, two of the priorities would seem to be just the quiet zone crossings and safe pedestrian crossings, and based on everything I've heard about the bridge crossings, I'd certainly cross that in. So if I have three priorities that we want to focus on instead of a much, much larger group, those would be the three. In response to Mr. Slari, Jose Gonzalez is here from FECI, who can address, I would imagine, the public structure and relationships and support for sites. Um, and with respect to prioritization, <coughs> pardon me, um, the project is clearly of enormous regional significance. It presents opportunities and it presents challenges, and those are different in different locations. Um, and so this list was an effort to just lay everything out because there are different priorities among different communities. There are some benefits that come in some places that aren't attributed in others. Um, and so that's for the subject, for the discussion of council, but that was the staff's approach in trying to develop the agenda item, which is here's everything we've heard from all of these different parties, and it's the council's readiness of how that information should be carried out. And I agree with that, and I, and I think that that's what we have to decide. I'll just you go over one of those, they, they recap, uh, reallocate the freight to the CSX rail corridor, my understanding is that freight traffic is the one part of rail traffic that is profitable. So you're asking FEC to give up its profitable portion and, and put it over to the central border and, and have them have the burden of the passenger portion. I would just guess that on a market, market pricing basis, that would make the whole deal unprofitable for them. It would also give uh, CSX a regional freight monopoly, and monopolies are generally bad. And the third thing it is that if we think that rail freight rail traffic is a burden on our communities, and what we're doing is pushing that burden over to the central Florida communities. So I think in just that one issue, you've got bad economics, bad governance, and, and the in, in world action. So uh, okay. these are the type of problems. That Again, thank you, Mr. Gonzalez, for coming. I've got a few questions if I could. The first is, does Fortress or any other company have any gaming business? Can you speak to the microphone? Does Fortress or any of the related companies have any gaming business? Fortress has many different investments. The investment we're under is transportation. We have no gaming interest at all. We have no involvement in that particular side of business at all. So Fortress has no gaming interest? Fortress has many investments. They have, they have many investments in various fields. The entity of Fortress is a fund that owns us, so we're under private equity under the three bucket. We're only focused on transportation. What Fortress does across the board, they have various investments. It has nothing to do with us. If it has, it's not, we're not involved in it, period. A period. Mm -hmm. I think I will answer your question, but I do. In the financials for the whole board story project, is gambling in any way a factor in the No. Yes. Okay. You mentioned that all the economic benefits of the project in the area is your financial analysis available which shows us. Yeah, it, it's a private company. Yeah, yeah, it is a private company, but you're asking for an awful lot of government support. Well, let me finish. An awful lot of government support, including a federal loan or federal loan guarantee, which is a form of subsidy, and the cooperation of a lot of local and state governments, including the state corridor, so you've broken the nexus. And this is a project 
which would, more than some other projects, would allow for disclosure of financial analysis because it's a one-off type of project. You're not competing with this type of project with any other organizations. So there's, there's general reasons for wanting the financial privileges of a private company aren't really available in this. So again, I, I mean, I'll be done in a second. Again, if, I mean, you're free, absolutely free, not to disclose. I have no argument with that at all. But if you want government support and community support for the project, I just offer that up as something which ought to be available. And then again, I don't think you want to answer that question. I think you want to take that back to your no, superior. No, exactly. Yeah, I think that back. But all, all of the financial review is done by the FRA through that process. So there is a data submitted. And again, I, I've seen other government entities do financial analysis, which certainly so have a so I have to that I go back to my constituents. Right. There's, there's, there's a process that's why I have to find out. Well, but we, we haven't told them that we're not allowed to disclose the thing, so I'll be happy to take that back and again. That's again. And I have your contact on the contact right Thank you. Mr. Slater. Thanks. I want to follow on what Commissioner Fielding said. I think this is a great forum. I think this is one of the best special trustees and planning council meetings I've attended in five years, and so I appreciate every, everything everybody's done to make this happen today. I do want to note, though, that it seems, especially for today's discussion, uh, more than any other. It seems like the beneficiaries of this are all the high population counties and all the burdens of this are being taken by all the low population counties. And that was one of the problems with, again, the whole 750 process we really don't want to bring up too much. Uh, I think that this project clearly threatens the quality of life of the low population counties. That's what I heard by many, many citizens before I came here today. And it's almost been increased by an order of magnitude today. So I'm not sure that the best path here is to just send a memo articulating our concerns and beginning a negotiation process, which includes so many things that I don't think ought to be in here to begin with. So all of that is my one way of saying that I would vote no against this today. I think basically we ought to just say no and begin the process of doing that, which I believe the vast majority of our citizens would like us to do. Part of it is realizing we have two separate things, I think, in the way one of the EIS which is what the, the state, obviously the federal government is requiring as we, as we move forward on this. So we want to make sure our comments get to the record on that. I, I, and I, I, the I, I, second would be you moving forward in that area because I hate to think that our comments wouldn't get included. Oh, in I think this motion should be passed regardless. I just want to send up the first flag 